I want to introduce you to the JSTART Modeler application. The JSTART Modeler application is designed for people, business analysts, without programming skills to be able to develop an application and have it running immediately. The type of applications that a user would build with this are for big data scenarios. And this use case I'm going to demo uh, is around uh, social media. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop Twitter search component to the, to the application. By dragging and dropping components to the application, it's, it's like adding these pieces of the code uh, to an application. Immediately you see the properties over here for the Twitter search component. These are properties that you would, that would get passed on to Twitter to do a search. I want to add a search term. I'm going to search on Twitter on IBM. I want it to give me 2,000 results back. Next thing I want to do is I want to do some sort of data analysis on these, these tweets that we're getting back from Twitter. We have a UEMA analyzer to do that. With a UEMA analyzer, we have to have some sort of pair file from a natural language processing model. So I click resources and I can upload my model here. Now that I have the pair file uploaded, I can select the pair file in my properties for the UEMA analyzer. When I select the pair file, what it does in the background is it deploys the pair file and it sees all the annotations that are available in that pair. In this case, we only have one annotation and it's a category annotation. I want to turn those on and I want to select the input field that I want to do the text analytics on. In this case, you'll see there's four fields. These fields come from Twitter. Uh, there's actually more fields that come from Twitter, output fields that come from Twitter, but some of them are numeric type. Uh, the UEMA analyzer only uh, will analyze string type inputs so it only shows you which uh, string type inputs uh, because that's all it accepts. So I want to select the text field. The next thing I want to do is do some sort of uh, visualization of this data. So this interactive visualizer, it's doing a couple things. It's actually doing some more text analytics and it's visualizing the, the, the results. We have uh, four graphs on this uh, visualizer and they're all interactive. Um, so I want to map up the properties that this visualizer is expecting coming from the Twitter data and the UEMA analyzer. Uh, if you can picture the data starts of the Twitter searcher, goes to the UEMA analyzer and onto the interactive visualizer, the, 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 pro the values are appended to the data uh, object as it passes through the application. So uh, the, all the data that came from Twitter is continuously passed through the UEMA analyzer. It just appends. Uh, the, the results that it comes up with, which are the annotations from the, from the data itself. So I want to select uh, the different fields. You'll see now that I have more data fields uh, available of different type. Um, the author field, this comes from Twitter. I want to select that. The retweet field. Topic field, these are the field, this is the field that's coming from the annotation from the UMA analyzer. We have features within these annotations. We have a category feature and that's what it's looking for. Text field. And finally the tweet ID. Now I've, I've built my application. Well, let's say I want to add a couple more things. One of the things that you can do when you do a Twitter search is um, you may build this application, run it, and you see something interesting in the data, and you need to make some tweaks to your model and rerun it. But Twitter is continuously getting updated, so you might not see the same data again. So you want to rerun the same data. We have to have the capability to, to save the data and to replay it. So we have a component, what we call the archive component. And this is just a persistent store of the data. So as, when your application runs, the data is going to flow from Twitter to UEMA to the interactive visualizer. It's also going to flow down to this archive processor, which is just a persistent storage uh, just that's storing the data that can be replayed later. Now that I have my application, I want to save it. And run it. The application was built, packaged up, sent to the server, and now it's running. You should be able to click on the interactive visualizer and see the results immediately. 
Immediately, I'm starting to see results here. Um, we have an influencers chart, a topics chart, a conversations chart, and the connections. Uh, basically, these are the people who are tweeting about IBM right now. These are the topics. These are determined from the UEMA analyzer. We use natural language processing to try to categorize each tweet based on the, the contents of the tweet. Um, these connections basically are people that are retweeting each other, so you can kind of see who's following each other and who is who is uh, retweeting them. And finally, we have the conversations. We have like a word uh, cloud over here that shows you which that they're broken into subcategories of topics, and then within those, it shows you the words and the and the size of the bubble determines on how many times that word repeats. So you can kind of see which words are being used more often in each category. You can click on the topics and it'll show you a sample of the tweets that are in there. Now that I've built this model, I can stop it. I'm satisfied. Um, if, I, if I wanted to come back and make some tweaks to my model, I could, but I'm kind of satisfied with what I have. Um, so now I have this, this model saved. I'm going to refresh the page here. Now you see that I have this model saved. I can come back later, um, someone who doesn't want to build their application, and you can run this model anytime. By doing that, you click Run, configure a model to schedule, and now I can schedule this application to run at specific times, or I can have it run right now for a certain duration for a length of time. When I schedule a certain time, you can have it run, uh, have it repeat as many times as you want. You can also see other properties that are within the model. So I can say, change my search query. I can change uh, the number of tweets. Uh, if there were more features, I could change the features and so forth. So I'm going to run this for one minute. I hit submit. And you can see now the application is running it's in progress. I could stop it at any time. I could click on the view results and it, and it comes up with a, uh, a summary page of the results and you can see it's actually running again. Very, very similar results that you saw earlier. That's all we have for now. Thank you.